Hi, it's uh, Joe, ZL1PMY, and in the workshop today we've got an ICOM 7300, first one in, and the client sent it in because the, the keypad isn't working, nothing works, but uh, on further tests we find that actually none of the buttons work, so it's not strictly speaking keypad, and uh, quite possibly it's a software problem not a hundred percent sure so um, we will see um, have a look at the diagram I know that the display only has two integrated circuits associated with it one is for brilliance uh, back, back illumination etc and the other one decodes the matrix of the X and Y for when you're pressing but as none of the other buttons work uh, the, only, the only button that seems to work is the on off we're going to have to take the lid off and have a quick look inside and then find out how we tell if the processor is shutting it up ok, we'll be back with you very shortly ok, so um, <coughs> looking at this uh, faulty display on the IC7300 uh, what we've done is um, to disconnect the display maybe you can see it down there it's not connected and with the display disconnected um, the actual controls work all the buttons work maybe you can hear that you can certainly hear it tuning now which it wouldn't do before um, yeah if I go to transmit uh, there you see it's going on to transmit so the display is holding up the running of the processor now usually the keys on a display are arranged in a matrix and uh, they are scanned and the pressing of any key would cause an interrupt to the software routine and that um, interrupt would be serviced with some priority and then the processor released to do something else um, so what we're going to do now is, is closely look at the uh, screen, the front, front side of the display to see if there's any signs of uh, damage. So I'll be back with you shortly. <clears throat> so I've been examining the uh, display on the 7300. I don't know if you can see this down here. Um, it was actually buried down here, but it's a little piece of debris. I'm just going to see if I can get the rest of it out. There we go. And it looks like a piece of stone. It's either a piece of... Um, it looks like a piece of granite or building material. It's definitely stone. And uh, what hopefully that will have been causing a push button event. Um, which would be holding up the processor so I'm just going to uh, put the ribbon cable back in and do a test and so with the uh, piece of uh, <coughs> debris removed you can see we have a fully functional display uh, the touch is okay yep so we can now uh, put the whole thing back together again.